It is the ST High Tech Nissan GTR Festival here at Hampton Downs. Ian, ST High Tech sponsored the GTR Festival. Why? Uh, basically, we have been around for 23 years, history ST High Tech brand in New Zealand. We have the fastest R35 GTR in Australasia. So we run 7.4 on the quarter mile at 180 miles per hour. We go from standing still zero to 317 kilometers per hour in seven seconds. So with those, with a car like that, stats that that car does, we have to be part of the GDR festival because that car is probably the ultimate GTR in this country. It runs the best of the best of the best. Every single thing on that car is the, the best, highest quality products we can put on it. Yeah, but everybody only wants to know one thing. That one thing is... How much horsepower? Yeah. So How many horses does it have? 2,600 horsepower. 2,600 horses. 2,600 horses. So we make 1,651 kilowatts at the wheels on our mainline dyno. That's 2,200 horsepower at the wheel, which is 2,600 at the engine. Now, where do you get your buzz? Driving from zero to 370 <laughs> kilometers an hour in seven seconds gives me all the buzz I need. It's the ultimate anti-aging adrenaline. <laughs>I gotta say, there's three beautiful cars here. How long have you had that Sentra, man? Since I was 15. Yeah, 32 now, so quite a while. Now, it is wild. How do you get all the patterns and the design inside the engine bay and all around the doors? So the outside, it's all marble. It's done by Gladrap. Plastic bag, basically. Just paint the car and someone dabs the rubbish bag on the body while they're painting it. And for the interior and the engine bay, it's all been hydro dipped. So hydro dipping is basically you put the graphic on the water and then you put the, the material inside the water yeah. and then you just dip it out. That's the water. Yeah. You put the panel inside the water and then you take the water out and the design's on the panel. Is there a theme to it? It's a different car, so just trying to keep it different. So if you're rolling down Queen Street, no one knows how fast your car is. Obviously, they're just gonna look outside and be like, oh, look at that car. James from JT Performance, you're responsible for tuning a lot of these GTRs here today, but there's, there's two we're standing in front of that are, are pretty special. Can you explain the blue one for a start? Have you ever watched Fast and Furious? Yeah. Paul Walker used to drive this in Fast and Furious, and for me specifically, when I was a kid, when I was watching that, I was like, I just want that. And driving it around and seeing everybody's reaction to this car, it just confirms my theory that it's, it's, a, it's an icon of the GDR scene. So these engines originally are a 2.6 litre. Um, we've had a bit of magic done to it. Drove into the workshop completely stock, drove out with a sequential gearbox and 1,000 horsepower, and one happy customer. Now, the other car beside it, another GTR, but what's so special about that one? It's more special to me, I think, because it's red, and not a lot of them actually are red. If it's red, it must go faster. Marcel, your 89 GTR looks really beautiful. Is it true that your last name is Nissan? Marcel Nissan. And is that why you drive the car? That's exactly why I've got to live by it, you know what I mean? <laughs> when does the addiction start of wanting to keep working on your GTR? The addiction starts at a young age. As soon as you get what you want and then start putting a bit more power into it and then the power is never enough after because you just get used to that power, you know? You just want to keep going and going and going. Okay, one final thought. Would you ever sell it? I never have a thought of selling it. It's just my baby at this point, yeah. <laughs>